it's 9 o'clock in the morning, we've got our schedule, time is not on our side, what we have to do is master the Paris Petro, so well, let's try it. And it's just a short ride to the Tullerys Gardens across the Seine from our first museum stop. We walk across the gardens and across the pedestrian bridge, which in recent years has become laden with thousands of small locks, placed there by lovers. How very Parisian. The Musée d'Orsay is a converted railroad station. It contains the world's largest collection of Impressionist art and the most sumptuous museum restaurant you've ever seen. Time is fleeting, it's back to the subway, and just a few stops down the river, one of the most beautiful chapels in the world. Built in the 13th century, Saint chapelle has amazingly survived nearly intact. Its soaring stone arches seem to float between the gloriously slender stained glass windows. From here it's just a short walk to one of the world's most famous churches, the medieval cathedral of Notre Dame. Construction began nearly a thousand years ago, and it remains one of the world's largest houses of worship. Sometimes on the subway you just hear music coming and you follow it. Another subway ride, and we're at the foot of Montmartre, home of the Bohemian artist colony of a century ago. We'll take the funicular to the top, then walk down the mountain's backside. Back on the subway, and it's time for dinner on Ile Saint Louis. For dinner, we've come down to Ile Saint Louis, which is a little island just behind the big island that has Notre Dame on it. There's a car going by now, but believe it or not, this is rush hour in Paris. This place is quiet, the restaurants are cheaper. It's just really, really a nice place to spend the evening. Well, it's seven o'clock on Friday night, and because it's that time on this day of the week, we get into the Louvre in the evening. It's the best way to end the day. It's less crowded, best time to go. The Louvre has very helpfully mapped out a quickie grand tour of the place, enabling you to breeze by all the top sights and leaving time to elbow your way to the front of the crowd, staring at the Mona Lisa. After leaving the Louvre, walk along the Seine for a nice night view, but then catch a subway to your last stop. Well, that's it. That's a great day in Paris, isn't it? I'm kind of tired, but I'm not exhausted. No matter what, you can always say, we'll always have Paris. <laughs>